Welcome to Heath Rouse Barbecue. Today we're cooking blue cheese stuffed burgers on the Golden's cast iron. Let's get started. Now that we've got our hamburger patties for our stuffed blue cheeseburgers patted out, let me explain to you a little bit about what I did. If you don't have a burger press, you can take some parchment paper, and I took a bowl and just divided my packs of ground beef up. I bought two one-pound packs. I split them in fours to give me a quarter-pound patty, and then I threw the ball in the bowl and mashed it down with the parchment paper to kind of form like a little bowl and a really thin patty here. You can see what I did. And so when I do two packs, that gives me four half pound burgers basically. So once we get that done, all I wanna do is come back. I've got six ounces of blue cheese here and I wanna get them stuffed in all of my burgers. So I'm gonna move these out to my edges is what I'm gonna do and move these in. Now what you wanna do is kinda of just pivot back a little bit, right? And start scooping in your blue cheese. And I'm gonna to try to get a good bit of blue cheese in these burgers. Once you get a good scoop of blue cheese in each one, you wanna take your burger patty and kinda of lay over each one like that. And then we're gonna start forming around the edges to kinda of seal them up. Remember, you wanna be gentle with your burgers and not overwork your meat, but you also wanna pinch your edges so your cheese don't come out as you're grilling it and flipping it. So remember, pick your burger up here and let's kinda of fold your edges and pinch them and mold them around, right? And we're gonna kinda of ball them up and when we get back around here, mold it together. Now, you, if you've got a better technique, you do it your way, but I'm just gonna kinda of take my thumb here and see how I'm packing that in once I do that. Just kinda of molding that in. Remember, I don't wanna overwork it. So I'm gonna keep continuing my other patties like this till we get them and then we're gonna get them seasoned up with some beef rub. Now that we've got our blue cheese stuffed inside our burgers here, you can see that it's molded around. When you pinch those edges and just kind of pat against them, it works very well. And so you just wanna make sure you mash them down because remember, burgers always swell up, right? Remember, these were thin patties. You got a lot of cheese in here and so First thing that we wanna do is go ahead and get it just seasoned with some of our beef rub. We're gonna keep it very simple. This is a mixture of salt, pepper, onion, garlic, paprika, red pepper, chili powder, and some few other flavors that is gonna be great with these burgers right here. Now you can, if you've got some bacon, you can chop up and you could've put bacon inside there with the blue cheese is an extra tip. I'm out of bacon here at home, which is a bad mistake. Gotta to go to the store. Let's get started seasoning these. Now we're cooking on our Golden's cast iron today. We've already got it fired up with some Royal Oak charcoal. And I'm gonna tell you, this grate is roaring hot. So I wanna go ahead and grab some oil real fast. So let's spray with a little bit of oil. You gotta watch your fire, of course. Now I always start with a two zone fire on my Golden's cast iron. I've got a fire built over here and not over here. We've got our heat diverter in halfway where it contains the fire over here. So once I get grilling my burgers and they get where I wanna be, if I need to finish them off a little bit, I can always flip them over here to this cooler side to finish off if needed. That's why I always set up a two zone fire. I love grilling that way. So let's get these burgers on. All right, let's get in here and check on our burgers. They've been cooking. I flipped them once. Oh, man, they're looking good on this Goldens. Oh, yeah, look at them. They're coming right along. 
I'm going to tell you, let's check them with a Starma pin and let's see where they're at. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're getting where we want to be. I don't want to keep poking holes in it. On burgers like this, you don't, when you're stuffing them like that, the reason I barely went in there like that, you don't want to uh, let all your juices flow out and all the cheese melt out. So, oh, these smell phenomenal. So let's get these off the grill and get ready to build a burger. Now that our blue cheese stuffed burgers are off our goldless cast iron cooker, all we need to do is get in here and assemble them. Now you can see that I've took my buns here and I toasted them a little bit when I pulled my burgers off. I'm just using a little bit of Hellman's mayonnaise is all I'm using. And all we have is a little bit of light today. My wife needs to go to the store. Let's get a little bit of mayo on here. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw the rest of these out and get them built. Mm. Let's get them on these buns. Now that we've got this cut, whew, it looks amazing. And it smells so good with this brioche bread. Let's get in here and give it a try. <laughs> mm. If you are a blue cheese fan, you're gonna love this burger. The only suggestion I can make I really wish I'd have had some bacon at home today. It would have made it even better. The peppery bite from that beef rub on the back end, that good charred taste we get off that goldness cast iron on those cast iron grates that come from the factory with them. This burger is delicious. If you like what we're doing on our channel, be sure to like, subscribe, follow along with your friends. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and of course, YouTube. I'll see you next week with another video.